Here's a quick follow-up. Now sometimes after I post a video, I get a good question from somebody and I realize that there are probably many viewers out there that have the same question and the answer would be really helpful. So this is just a quick response to one of those questions. Here's that question and in here they said, what do the dashed lines at connector 3 pin number 29 and connector 3 pin 35 mean? Well, it's a great question, so let's take a look. Here's that diagram, and of course I'm going to try and zoom in so we can see exactly what we're talking about. Now we're at the fuse box, and they're talking about connector 3, pin 29, and connector 3, pin 36. Now there is no 35, so I believe they meant connector 3, pin 36. And here's that connector 36 I'm referring to. And here are the dashed lines that they're talking about. What do those mean? It's a great question. Well, here's the explanation. Now, this is the fuse box out of a 2006 Liberty. I don't have that here, so I'm just using a picture I grabbed off the internet. Now, you're not talking about the top. You'd have to turn it over, and it would look something like this. Again, this is just a picture out of the internet so that I can illustrate what we're talking about. The bottom side. This is not out of a Jeep Liberty. Now, this again is just another picture to illustrate what I'm talking about. If you look right here, this is what we're talking about. You're going to see a single wire in the very center, and then you're going to see spliced wires on both sides. And as you look around that fuse box, you're going to see several examples of singles and splices. So that is what the dashed lines mean. It's a splice immediately out of the fuse box.